Greetings, friends. Welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 13, verses 8 through 19. And the quote is by William Marion Branham from the message entitled, Faith, Africa Trip Report. This message was preached on August the 16th, 1952. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half thine house, I will not go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so was it charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that thou camest. So he went another way, and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel, the words which he had spoken unto the king, them they told also to their father. And their father said unto them, What way went he? For his sons had seen what way the man of God went, which came from Judah. And he said unto his sons, Saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass, and he rode thereon, and went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Art thou the man of God that camest from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said unto him, Come home with me, and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, Thou shalt eat no bread, nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. He said unto him, I am a prophet also as thou art. And an angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee into thine house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. So he went back with him, and did eat bread in his house, and drank water. Prayer changes things. Is that right? From death unto life. Prayer changes. There was a prophet who was very much embarrassed, no doubt to go back, as far as the people was concerned. But he had to do what God told him to do. Now look, some of these, this going on around, you always seek the face of God. And I don't care who tells you anything contrary to what God tells you, don't you believe it and you obey God. Will you do it? I don't care who he is, how righteous he is, how much of a pastor he is, how much of a preacher, whether he's a prophet, he may be sent of God, a real, true, ordained prophet of God. But if God tells you something contrary to that prophet, don't you believe the prophet, you believe God. How many believe that's true? Read 1 Kings 13. A young prophet went out and prophesied against the all of Bethel there and done some miracles. The Lord said, don't you eat your drink and come back another way from the way you went in. And a real prophet of God went and deceived that prophet. Is that right? Might as well be truthful. He said, the angel of the Lord met me and told me to tell you to come to my house. He met me after he met you. And the prophet, believing that prophet, turned and went back. What happened to him? A lion killed him. Is that right? And the old prophet wept over it. Sure, because he listened to a man instead of God, no matter who says anything, believe God first. And God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He's the same healer yesterday, today, and forever. We trust that you have been blessed by God's Word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message-related content that we produce, 
We invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you.